Welcome to the Graybeard Chronicles podcast. Your hosts, Brian Halstead and Kevin Harkins, are two gray bearded patriots who love God, their family and friends, and their country. The gray beards are here to inspire, inform, and educate you on a myriad of topics they are passionate about. Brian and Kevin have a strong desire to share this with you to help you live your best life. Sit back and enjoy this amazing podcast as the Greybeards pass along the wisdom of the ages. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Greybeard Chronicles. I'm Brian Halstead. And I'm Kevin Harkins. And Kevin, we're here to pass along some wisdom of the ages. What the heck does that mean? We're not perfect, but we do have gray beards, and that means we've got some significant life experience some life lessons, and some perspectives that are worthy of passing along. Well, I think that sums it up nicely. Let's get to it. Kevin, good evening, and yeah. nice to see you. That was pretty good. You were doing some good lip sync in there. Yeah? Yeah. Could have been you. So, yeah. It was like I knew the words. It's like you knew the words. Yeah. Yeah. We've only heard it a couple thousand times. <laughs> a couple hundred anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Good. Yeah. You're looking good. Thank you. Thank you. All back and, and refreshed and nice to be in your physical presence again. Yeah. It's been a minute. I know. Nope. All is well. I'll, I'll uh, re-energize from a week with a different schedule and a different location and uh, not having to do the normal work. That's all. It's all good. It's good to do that every once in a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Good deal. It's good to be about consistent about doing that on a regular basis. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. I was I was trying to trying to think of a a, a good and witty response to that. You know, um, consistency. Yeah. Um. What 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 are your overall thoughts on on that as a as a subject matter? Oh no, I'm 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 ready to tell you, but this is your topic, so I'm I'm gonna let you go. I don't I don't want to st- because I'm gonna say all the stuff you're gonna say. No. no yeah. You're not. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> Um, all right. So yeah, consistency is, is the subject matter for the evening. Um, and, uh, the, the question is, um, and what I posed to you was, uh, consistency, friend or foe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, now I guess I can't ask you that right now cause you've already passed it back to me. And I've, 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 uh, I've put the monkey on your back. You I, I want to hear what, yeah, you have. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, consistency is uh, I'd say the short answer to that is uh, consistency, friend or foe. Uh, yes. Yeah. You perfect. Know, that is that is the short answer to it. Yes. yes. It is. It is both. Um, something I, I feel like is very important in certain scenarios, in certain subjects, you know, in, in your life, and then um, you know, other times it can be a bad thing. You know, if you're the guy that's being, you know, that's known for being consistently late, that's a bad thing. Yep. Um, you know, if you're the the, the person that is known uh, to to be someone that you can rely on consistently, no matter what it is, you know, their, their word is their, their bond. And, and, you know, if they tell you they're going to do something, they're going to do it. You can, you can ex- just count it, right. Can't put it in the bank. It's, it's done. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, it can also, you know, we talk about the power of habits and um, you know, you can have a consistent bad habit and you know, that's not something that you, uh, you want a champion. That's right. And for me on the on the the bad side of the equation, it's the, it's when you don't uh take the time to a recognize that you're consistently executing that bad habit and and secondly, um you know, you're not you're not open, remaining self-aware about the kind of impact that it's having on your life. Uh you know, there's a lot of people that they just don't long term think about if i continue to do this whatever this bad habit is um then what they don't they just think well if i don't if i don't do this or if i do this one time or two times or even for a week or even for a month uh it's not going to have really any real impact i guess it depends depends on what it is uh, what is right, this right what this are we talking about yeah i mean consistency in in the good things and in, in you know telling the truth and, and, uh, honoring your values and, and living a life in accordance with those values, um, being consistent in that way and being consistent in your decision-making, um, 
you know, this, uh, there's lots of good times to use it. Yeah. Just be aware that, uh, it also can be a, a foe or a bad thing. Right. So there, there are two books to, that uh, came to mind when I was uh, preparing for, for today that, uh, that apply to this. Uh, and it, you mentioned it in your very first 15 seconds, and that was this topic about habits. And so the book Atomic Habits, which I think you've read, and uh, the, the, well, this... We'll say I have perused. Yeah, okay. So I, I can't take credit for reading the whole thing yet. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great book. And the, the author talks a lot about you know, this idea of getting the right habits, you know, in your life, in every area of your life and, and how to do it. And oh, by the way, it's, it's, it's almost impossible by act of will to stop a bad habit. You, you can't do that. You actually have to replace it with, with a good habit. And uh, so it's much easier to do something different than to try to stop. No, I'm not going to. Makes, makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah. Replace it with Time and energy devoted towards something else. Towards something else. Toward a good habit, yep. you know, particularly effective if you do that. So that's that's one thing. Make sure you got the right habits going consistently uh, as your topic. And and the second book is The Compound Effect, which I've talked about many times on the po- on podcasts as well. And he there's a quote that I love and I use and I review it literally daily and I use it in my life all the time. And and that is what what he brings out in the book, and it is simply this. I can beat anyone at anything because of the consistency of my habits and the compounded effect that they have over time. And so yeah, it starts out, I, I missed the first, given enough time, right. given enough time, I can beat anyone at anything due to the consistency of my habits and the compounded effect they have over time. And he's saying, time is your friend. Adopt this good habit and do it. Do it. Keep keep working the pump. Keep right. getting the water out. And uh, you do that long enough, it starts to compound. And then all of a sudden, your growth becomes exponential. Your strength increases exponentially. Uh, your skill in- increases exponentially. So long as you're doing it the right way with the right habits. So... Those were really powerful reminders for me to just sort of stay in that zone, stay consistent with situational awareness. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Let's take the stuff that I'm not necessarily doing right or could do better or could replace with a better habit. Be consistent, 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 and allow the compounding effect to take take effect. Love it. Love it. I just wish you could bring some energy to the conversation. Am I? Am I? Am I not, am I not bringing energy? <laughs> no, you're, you're, you have an abundance of it. I love it. I love it. Um, no, good stuff, man. I uh, and, and I think it's a it's a good it's a good topic to discuss. And it's you know you, you mentioned this earlier about uh, being self aware enough, right? So um, that self evaluation or being tuned into. Um, yourself right so self and being authentic but also you know having that um front of mind awareness to evaluate how you're showing up and look at your results and and figure out hey you know every time i do this this happens i don't like this i don't like the result um and maybe it's time to your point to develop a new habit to replace that one and do something different or if it's a critical skill Maybe it's time to learn how to do it better so that you change the result that you're getting and, and create the same level of consistency, just to have a different result. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. It's well uh, said. Worth worth talking about. It's worth talking about. And you know, another thing that you know, we are where we came from. We are you know, the result of the circumstances that we've experienced makes us the people we are today. You've said that in different words. But with people that are our age, you know, people that are above 50, above 60, there's a lot of people that fall into that category, particularly today where, you know, you find you wake up one day and you're like 10 or 20 or 30 pounds or 40 pounds heavier than you want to be. And that happened so slowly that it was almost imperceptible. You know, it's not like, you know, you woke up one day and you were this weight and you woke up the next day and you were 30 pounds heavier. You know, that took three, four, five, six years. Mm-hmm. That is a consistently 
bad habit, not horrible, not necessarily life-threatening, although it could be if it went on too long and too much. But you know what I mean? Those are the things that are dangerous in, in, this, in this arena with consistency, consistency on the bad side with a bad habit. You just kind of let it go, well, I'll have that extra little whatever. Or maybe it's as simple as I'm not moving the same like I used to because it's painful. Or maybe it's I, I don't do my 15-minute walk at night. Not that, that um, I, mean, I don't know how many. I'm sure there are some people who, who do a, let's go for a walk for 15 minutes. But something as simple as that to replace it with, and all yeah. of a sudden it stops the trend or makes yeah, it Yeah, some, some of it could be, to your point, because of bad habits. And, and some of it could be um, just because of, uh, you know, there's an underlying medical condition. You bet. And at the same time, it's still... Um, your unwillingness to acknowledge, right? Because you've seen it over time, right? You you felt the decline in performance, ability, maybe the increase in, in pain or discomfort, and you've decided to continue to just, you know, dismiss it. Right. Because, you know, this, this isn't really a thing. I'm not going to acknowledge it. And, you know, the first couple of times you do that, the first couple of years you do that, it might not be a big deal. Uh, five, ten years down the road, you might have dismissed something that is now a, a serious problem that would not have been had you addressed it early on. Amen. That, that that's it. You you've you've stated it perfectly. And I I believe there are, are so many people out there who are living through a circumstance like that. <clears throat> Another quote that I love. The pain. This is a Jim Rohn quote. Um, the the pain of discipline versus the pain of regret. Mm. Um, and and he'll say the pain of discipline. Is, is ounces right the pain of regret is tons yeah it's not even pounds we just skip right over right, that right skip right over that and just go yeah. straight to tons and yeah you wake up just like you said 10 years from now not having had that that daily discipline that daily consistency that daily good habit to carry forth in your life 10 years later it's the regret because yeah you had now have a life-threatening or catastrophic event that um that maybe could have been avoided and i'm not blaming those people i'm just saying that's it's it's really it's just hard to watch and it's hard to be yeah. a part of yeah that that's a question i throw out to people that are watching and listening is what what are you consi- what what negative thing is going on in your life that you are consistently aware of and are dismissing or yeah. or or refusing to acknowledge or do anything about. Um, and, and I'm talking about health and, and well-being things. Um, you know, address it. Right. Address it now. You know, it's one of those things, right? You deal with it or it's going to deal with you. Right. Um, grab it and, and do something about it while you're still in the dealing with it phase before it gets to the dealing with you phase. Yeah. So pay attention to that um, and don't be consistently ignoring things that are warnings, right? Your body's trying to tell you stuff. Listen, it is, you know, and if you're feeling pain and, and that, that's, that's a sign. That's what is that? What can I do about it? How can I, how can I fix that? It's interesting that it ended up going this direction. Cause I had no, in, it, there was no intent when we started talking about consistency to, to take it down this path of, you know, health and, and wellness awareness. Yeah. Um, and it, it is one of those things though. You will consistently downplay symptoms and so on because of, you know, whatever. And men, a lot of times it's your, you know, that three letter word that gets you into all kinds of trouble, you know, ego, ego. Okay. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm fine. There's, there's, this is not anything to worry about. Yeah. It wasn't when you first realized there was a problem. Right. But now five years later, there's something to worry about. And pay it, attention. It, it applies to every area of your life. It, it applies to your, your parenting. No, I'm not going to, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm consistently making the decision to not spend a few minutes with my son. Uh, I'm consistently showing up to work late. I'm consistently not proofreading my, my, my letters that I write at work. I'm consistently not doing this. And I know it, and I'm, I'm aware of it, but I'm choosing to ignore it. I'm choosing not to do anything about this little bit of a toothache that I have. You know, and the next Oof. thing you know, you're having oral surgery because something really went wrong rather than I need to have it filling fixed kind of right. thing. Right. Right. Root canal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No fun there. Yeah. 
I love I I keyed on the whole um, you know, consistently not proofreading things that you send out, right? Yeah. That's uh you you want to just wave a flag that says I'm a dumbass. <laughs> uh, do that, right? Just fail to, you know, read and proofread your stuff. Read it several times. I I know I I do it with intention because I don't want to look like a dumbass when I send somebody an email yeah. because I got, you know, way in a hurry trying to type this fast and you know, I've I've actually talked longer now than the total length of typing training that I've had. You know, they they don't even do that anymore, do they? Um, teach I, typing. I, I think I, they, they must. I don't so, know. Uh, but don't anyways, know. I I never had any formal training in typing, um, and it, it's just you know, any speed that I have is because of you know just time and practice. Right. Um, but I get going and I'll type something and it looks like a language other than English. Uh, you know, and I'll go back. I was like, damn, I was, I was in a hurry to do that. If I just slowed down, I would only had to do it the one time. But yeah, man, pr- proofread your stuff. Yeah. Consistently proofread your stuff so you don't look like an imbecile when you send that stuff out to people. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Text messages. Right. Consistently proofread your text messages. E- and and even if you're talking to it, the voice Oh, thing, especially yeah. when you're talking to it. Because... <laughs> Because apparently uh, my phone does not uh, speak or, or comprehend uh, redneck ease sometimes. <laughs> and uh, when, when I get on a roll, it'd be like, what the fuck did you say? Yeah. Um, and, you know, spits out words that are reflective of that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, there you go. That was a thank you. That was a great topic. And I, I, um, I know I appreciated uh, kind of taking a sounding, as we say, in the, in the seagoing world yeah um, about uh, how i'm doing on that and just kind of is that the seagoing equivalent of checking yourself yeah kind of a self-evaluation yes yes take a sounding that's, that's the way i understood how it how deep's your water so yeah. so what is that what it means yeah right because it uh is it a, a, a bounce off of sonar or something I, what do you, what does that no mean? L- literally well i mean you can do that but um back when ships were wood and men were steel um it was a, a, a line with a with a metal bob on the end of it, and you just throw it over the, the bow and literally try to take a sounding when you, you can feel it hit the bottom. Right. And then you'd pull it back up, and you'd realize how deep the water was. You're in. And, and if you're in an uncharted waters or unfamiliar waters and you don't have a chart, then you're sounding frequently. You're going very slow, and you're saying, you know, because you, you get stuck aground, that's a problem. That can yeah. ruin your whole day. Right, yeah. You don't have towboats readily available, right? Right. Or uh, <laughs> no. repairs for, for the hole you just crushed in the side of your hull. Correct. Uh, interesting. Yeah, that we could do a whole podcast on uh, terms like that. Yeah. Right? Sayings or, you know, what where, what's the um, you know, the evolution of this phrase? Where did it come from? What is it... Uh, what did it originally that is be? that is always very interesting to me. Yes, we got to do that. We got to come up with you know two or three a piece and, and and have a discussion about them. Put that okay. on your agenda. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. All right, brother. That's what I got. Well, one thing that I do consistently yes. every week, besides hit the microphone, um, is reach over here at the end of this podcast and hit that button right there. And then I say something like this, no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, make sure between this podcast and the next, you take time to to enjoy enjoy the ride ride consistently. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Great Bay Chronicles. Please subscribe so you'll receive notification when new episodes are available. To learn more about the Great Bears, visit their website, graybearchronicles.com.